22 News I-Team investigated the toll proposal that could cost you a lot of money in the future if you cross into Connecticut. 22 News I-Team reporter Mike Mascadrelli questioned Connecticut lawmakers about their plan to bring back tolls. This proposal would install toll gantries on four major Connecticut highways, including I-91. Western Massachusetts drivers are worried about the cost, so the I-Team crossed state lines looking for answers. It's going to cost some money to build the type of infrastructure that we need. This is the most responsible way that we can do it. In a few short years, you could be paying by the mile to drive on Connecticut highways. The Connecticut Transportation Committee wants to install 50 electronic toll gantries on Interstates 91, 95, 84, and Route 15. The 22 News I-Team questioned Connecticut lawmakers about a proposal to charge commuters from Western Massachusetts. A lot of people are wondering why now, why now implement a toll system in Connecticut after all these years? For the last 30 years in Connecticut, there hasn't been any tolls on our roads. Roland Lamar chairs the House Transportation Committee. We think we've missed an opportunity to invest in the sort of transportation that makes places thrive and grow and we need the revenue if we're going to even maintain the status quo. Under the proposal, there would be toll gantries every six miles along I-91 and the three other highways. Those tolls would be more expensive for out-of-state drivers and would even rise during rush hour. In fact, 40% of the anticipated toll revenues will be paid for by out-of-state drivers, drivers like you and me. Out-of-state Easy Pass holders would pay two cents more per mile than Connecticut residents. It gets much more expensive without an Easy Pass, where you'd pay eight cents a mile and ten cents during peak traffic. The plan's already running into resistance in Connecticut. Connecticut already struggles to bring people here to work in our state. Uh, we're not known as a high tourist state, so you start adding these tolls. That's just another reason for people to avoid coming to Connecticut. Are you concerned that implementing a toll system would deter people from wanting to work in Connecticut? There are some long distance commuters who are going to get hurt uh, under this plan. And I think that there is a way for us to cap the amount that an individual could pay because we're concerned about the same thing. We don't want to punish people. We just want folks paying a portion of their fair share. A portion that's determined by your address. An average trip from border to border uh, from Stanford to Westerly or from Enfield to New Haven is only going to be a few dollars. We do not think people are going to make uh, important tourist decisions based upon the three dollars that they might have to pay in tolls. Massachusetts doesn't have a reciprocity agreement with Connecticut and their drivers already owe the Commonwealth millions of dollars in unpaid tolls. Lamar said that would likely change if the proposal goes through. The House and Senate are expected to vote on the toll bill next month. Connecticut Governor Ned Lamont supports this proposal. We posted his statement on the toll proposal on our website, WWLP.com. I'm Mike Mascadrelli, working for you with the 22 News I-Team.